Hello everyone. My name is Kimberly Becker and I teach in the English department at Iowa State University. One of my favorite aspects of teaching writing is to harness the use of technology to help students find modes and genres or types of writing that are new or newer ways to communicate with new media formats. After all, in today's modern world, most of our communication and media consumption happens in multiple modes, such as writing combined with audio, images, or video. We see examples all over the internet. So today I'm going to show you how I teach students to write in electronic modes. Let's get started. Imagine that you want your students to write a blog post. An important first step in any writing project is showing students what the writing will look like before they start. Here's an example of a blog that we can use as a model to examine the features commonly found in a blog post. This is a travel blog about hiking. It's not a student blog, but provides good examples of multiple modes of communication. I ask students to describe the features of the blog. Usually they notice that blogs are made up of both text and images, as we can see here in this travel blog. The writer is using both words and photographs to achieve his communicative goals. Next, I ask students to compare and contrast a blog post from the travel website to a sample academic writing assignment, such as this one. I explain that these are examples, not models or templates, of how these genres are accomplished. This is called genre analysis, and it's a way of examining an example to identify the key features that contribute to the accessibility and success of that genre. Besides showing examples, a set of questions is a useful way to guide students as they explore the examples. As a place to start, I ask them how writers cite sources or use outside evidence for support in a blog versus an academic assignment. I show vetted examples of writing from websites and blogs that use hyperlinks and images to support the ideas. Here are a couple of examples, one from the travel site and another from the academic essay that we examined earlier. Citing sources is only one of many features that you introduce in a genre analysis. For example, you can teach students to examine how the authors describe the context that they are writing about, how they organize the ideas, and which words the authors choose to describe events, objects, and ideas. For more ideas and an example of features for comparing genres, please see the Genre Analysis Guide in the Writing Resource Corner, as there are lots of features that can support a genre analysis of example texts that learners find. For more about new types of writing that students should learn, see the article Digital Multimodal Composition in the Second Language Classroom by Jim Lee Sowell in the Writing Resource Corner.